What are you doing? Where are you going? Trouble? What you doing trying to go down there? What's up? What? Noisy? What are you doing? Should we get you all cleaned up? Yeah? What's the matter? Should we get you cleaned up? Hey guys, welcome back to Raver's Mead. I don't know where he thought he was trying to go then, but somewhere where he wasn't supposed to be, weren't you? Yeah, so you're trying to be all cute now. There is no food in my pockets. I took it out of my pockets because I knew you'd try and search me. And then you'd guilt trip me into giving you my dinner. Wouldn't you? Because that's what you do. Cheeky boy. Cheeky boy. Uh, yeah, I am um, about to get Woody all tidied up um, and I thought, oh he's being so cute, look at his face, <laughs> he's being so cute. I thought I would show you guys our winter feather care routine. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take him out for a ride in a little bit but I'm going to strip him off and I'm going to sort his mane and his tail out and everything um, and I want to sort out his feathers. So yeah, I thought I would show you guys that um, because a lot of people ask whenever I take him to shows and stuff they always ask us how we keep their feathers in such good condition like through the winter um, and the secret is pig oil like it's literally just that simple we cover them in pig oil um, it stops the mud from sticking it helps to prevent malanders it helps to prevent feather mites and it keeps the hair like really nourished and soft and lovely so we tend to put pig oil on their legs like once a week or once a fortnight depending on what the ground's like I mean you can see out there it's it's pretty dry at the moment for this time of year which I am incredibly happy about I'm not complaining about that at all so I've been doing this like once a fortnight um, but if it if it was wet out there and muddy I would definitely do it once a week um, just to sort of stop any filth from like sticking to the hair because once it sticks to the hair you've either got to like shampoo it out or brush it out and then you end up damaging the hair and it just kind of gets a bit out of control isn't it sunshine but by doing this it stops the dirt from sticking <laughs> stops the dirt from sticking in the first place then you don't have to end up damaging the hair trying to remove the dirt again afterwards um so yeah we don't <laughs> it's so cute. we don't tend to wash our feathers throughout the winter um we will just stick with the pig oil and give them a brush and that is like perfectly sufficient like I even if I take them out to dressage or something I still don't bother to shampoo them in the winter just because this tends to keep their legs like super clean when you get the win you put your grumpy face then bless him uh, but yeah so let me show you what we're working with um, his legs so all this behind here this is actually from some udder grease that I put on last week just because his malanders was flaring up a little bit again um oh, it's still scabby in there oh woodster why won't it go away this year it's very persistent isn't it uh but that's fine i'm gonna give his feathers a quick brush and i'll brush a lot of that out and then we're just gonna pig oil straight on top of that i'm not gonna bother washing it out or anything but obviously if i was taking him out anywhere that required like actual presentation like if we were going to a show or something then i would wash them um but this is just for like everyday goings on so there's really no point in my opinion to make all that fuss for just everyday going out for a hack and standing in a yard what you doing mister 
Are you trying to stand on me? Or do you want the attention? Do not we to stop talking to the camera and actually get on with it? Yeah? And then we'll go for a ride after? Yeah? Oh, you're so handsome. Even when you're trying to pull grumpy faces, you're still good looking. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my pig oil. And then let's just start with that. Okay. Oh, let's bring you guys in a bit closer. So, oh, see my camera's doing this really annoying thing where it keeps like tilting itself. Hopefully it stays. Um, so I've got my pig oil in my trusty washing up liquid bottle. It's a bit drippy because I've just filled it up and I spilt loads of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, top tip, if you're gonna use pig oil in your washing up liquid bottle, um, I like to fill it over a tub so that if I spill any, well, when I spill any, not if, when I spill any, um, I don't waste it, so it's just in the bottom of this tub here, so I can use that. Um, but yeah, I use a washing up liquid tub because I find that using a sprayer, um, because it's a thick oil, it tends to clog the spray nozzles up really badly, so this is a really good way of getting it like deep in the hair, and this doesn't get clogged up. Excuse me, what are you doing? Would you like me to go and get your hay net? Shall I get your hay net? Two seconds. Yeah, he's happy now. Right, let's crack on. Um, oh, stay there, camera. So, when you're applying pig oil, you really want to get it all the way through the hair and all the way down to the skin, especially if you're using it to deal with like malanders or feather mites. You really have to get it like deep into the skin, not just on the surface of the hair here, um, because otherwise it's not really gonna achieve anything other than making the outside of the hair look cleaner. Um, now, full disclosure, when you're putting pig oil on, it is going to look horrendous for a day or two. Um, and when I say horrendous, I mean horrendous. But then all of a sudden, usually on like the third-ish day, you'll just come down and all of a sudden your horse's feathers will be like crisp white and perfectly clean. It's like magic. It's amazing. Uh, but yeah, just a heads up, if you, if you use this and you put it on and you think, oh my god, what have I done? It does get better, but it gets worse <laughs> before it gets better. make sure I get it on all the hair and make sure I get it right the way down to the skin. I know, don't fidget. I know you don't like it. I will tend to put more at the top here and not as much down the bottom because gravity is gonna do a lot of the work for you. Like, if you put loads right down the bottom here, it's kind of gonna run out of the hair a lot quicker, whereas if you put more of it at the top and then work it, work it in from the top down, gravity is gonna help you out there and you're not gonna lose as much on the floor. Okay, so that's one leg done, to give you one idea. Um, I'm gonna whiz around and do all the other legs now, and then what I'm probably gonna do, Tia, that's not the best place to stand. I stood right underneath him, bless her. I know I'm a hypocrite, but, because I kind of was just sat underneath him, but I have a lot more spatial awareness than she does, bless her. So, I'm afraid that she wouldn't like pick up on the subtle signs that he's about to stand on her head. Um, makes me nervous, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the other three legs done and then I'll show you guys what that looks like when we're finished. And then I will get some more footage of this tomorrow morning and then the morning after to show you kind of like the progression of how this looks as it kind of works its magic. Um, See, it looks pretty disgusting right now, so. Okay, there we go. Four 
oiled up legs. Tia, stop licking it, you weirdo. That ain't normal, girl. Don't lick, no. No. Yes, you do the walk of shame, silly girl. So, I have discovered that the small animals, i.e. the dog and dogs, sorry, and the cat, they really love to lick this stuff, so like, I have to be careful when I'm putting it on that they don't get underneath the horse and get stood on. And also I have to be careful where I leave the bottle uh, because they will take the bottle and like eat the pig oil. It's really weird, I don't understand why. It must be tasty. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. They are all greased up and they look horrendous and disgusting. But I promise in a couple of days they are going to be sparkly white like they've just been through a car wash. They're going to be awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it here for now and I will see you in the morning and we will do an update on how his legs are looking. Okay, so here we have a day one update on the pig oil situation. Um, as you can see, his legs still look pretty gross at this point. But all that dirt and yuck is starting to come to the surface and that is just going to keep coming out and it will just slide off of the hair now. Um, so I think maybe, careful mister, I think maybe tomorrow morning or the day after those feathers are going to be sparkly white. Hey, so um, I completely forgot to film the second part of this video so I can't remember how many days it's been since I put the pig oil on his legs now. I think it might be like four or five days, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I have a short clip on my phone uh, which I will insert into this video which I probably will have inserted before this actually thinking about it. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I'll think about this while I'm editing it. Uh, but yeah, I have a short clip um, off of my phone which showed him the day after I pig oiled him and you'll see from that that it was pretty minging like at, the, at that stage in this process you find that the, a lot of the dirt and the dust that was in the hair is starting to come to the surface and it just looks minging uh, but this I, I'm fairly sure it's five days I think we're on day five now um, but this is what he looks like now um, so you can see all the yucky greasiness is gone I mean these are not greasy now they're not oily or greasy to touch at all um, and that is the result. I mean, they look they look pretty good for feathers that haven't been shampooed, really. Um, and if you wanted them to look even tidier than that, then I would just go ahead and give them a brush, like a quick flick through with like, I don't know, a magic brush or um, a plastic curry comb or something, something that will get like into the hair and separate it nicely and like get any remaining bits of dirt out but to be honest there isn't really any dirt in there at this point um they are pretty clean yeah so anyway that is that's how I keep my feathers in good condition in the winter um like I said I'll do this mm, once a week or once a fortnight depending on how wet it is and how muddy it is um but yeah putting the pig oil on it helps with the malanders um it helps keep the hair healthy it protects the hair from the weather it helps prevent bog burn um it helps prevent feather mites and by doing this all winter when you get to summer you will find that the feathers will just be luscious like genuinely lush um i'll have to do another video next summer um and show you the difference basically uh, but the other thing i will do uh, before summer so another another winter feather care job is to trim the feathers uh, just to even them up because they can get a bit uneven where they get long and they start standing on them and they snap them uh, but that, that'll be a topic for another video plus I really don't want to be doing that today because <laughs> um, I, I also have to just take a moment to show you how disgusting that rug is Woody you had a good really good lie down last night didn't you look at that you've had a proper snooze this was clean on you yesterday. Yeah. No, not that I mind. I don't mind you having dirty rugs. Whatever makes you happy, dude. But yeah. There you go. That is the end of our little winter feather care video. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope it was useful. If you have any questions about using pig oil, please feel free to like ask, either put them in the comments or drop us an email or something. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on our next video. Bye.